Dr. Susan Lin, a psychologist and co-founder of the Campaign for a Commercial-Free Childhood. What's wrong with using Shrek to encourage kids to exercise? It seems pretty noble to me. It's incredibly hypocritical. Using Shrek to promote exercise on the one hand and pitch for junk food on another hand is emblematic of the ways that the food industry, the advertising industry, and in this instance, the government, are actually selling kids out. From Hummers and Happy Meals to American Express gift cards just for teens, today, more than ever, kids are inundated with advertising, some that targets even the youngest children. The zero to three market, how much money does that market represent to corporate America? It's a $20 billion market. Susan Gregory Thomas is an investigative journalist and author of the book, Bye Bye Baby. She says Generation X parents who sat their newborns in front of TVs hoping to make them geniuses only turned them into consumers. The only thing that they were getting was how to recognize characters. It's Dora, it's Elmo, it's Poe. The only other scenario in which they're going to encounter these characters is in a scenario in which that character is trying to sell them something. Backpacks, band-aids, toothbrushes. And as they grow up, they're getting hooked up to technology that makes them even easier targets for marketers looking to tap the family checkbook. So increasingly, we're seeing kids influence uh, family restaurants, family vacations. We even have research showing that more and more kids are influencing the decision on the family car and the family home. Isn't it up to parents, Dr. Lynn, to help their children become discriminating consumers? It's unfair. And, and naive to expect that parents on their own are going to be able to do a great job of coping with this. They need help. They need help from the government. Iowa Senator Tom Harkin agrees. He's proposed a bill that would give the Federal Trade Commission the authority to restrict unfair advertising to children. Right now, the Federal Trade Commission has more authority to regulate advertising to a parent than it does to a child. That doesn't make any sense. So you see this as a huge, huge issue with far-reaching tentacles. Advertising and marketing is a factor in childhood obesity, in eating disorders. Wow. And critics warn it's teaching them the wrong values, that it's not about who you are, but what you have.